This clip illustrates how to start with a single row design, creating the necessary files in ModelMaker and opening those files in RoadMaker. We start with ModelMaker by importing a survey file, a strip survey from a road. Set the settings according to the file sequence. and column delimiter and import the file. For more info on this, see the Model Maker channel. Create triangles on the model with Triangle C Search. Start a horizontal alignment with horizontal new. You can use any one of the three options or load the existing .pid file. In this exercise, use the text editor to add a horizontal alignment based on coordinates from a design book. Type the coordinates and horizontal curve radius. Use the tab key to move between the columns and to the next line. At the bottom, save the file as a .pid file. Replot and view the alignment you added. Make sure the horizontal display is on at the top display bar. You can copy the horizontal alignment information to CAD. Use the horizontal cplot function. Make your selection and select OK. View the CAD results. Add a CAD line at the position where you want additional sections, culvert or bridge position. Identify the CAD line you want to use with CAD ID do ID. Next we extract the cross sections along the alignment of the road. Select sections, cross sections. The program will extract points at the chainage interval specified perpendicular to the alignment. I include the BC and EC, so additional sections will be extracted there. Select the user define to add the skew section. Clear the list and select ID CAD to add the identified section. Note if the chainage and angle was added. The width of the sections, if left zero, will be extracted up to the extents of the strip survey contours. Alternatively specify the width on both left and right as a positive value. The elevations of each section will be recorded at the offset distance and triangle leg elevations of the active project. Confirm the roadmaker.xx1 format is selected and the get elevations from triangle model in project 1. Save the file with the same name as the .pid file. This will allow you to open both files simultaneously in RoadMaker. The file type of the cross sections is .xx1. Look at the temporary section lines white at the chainage interval and also the ground profile lines green at each section. Next we extract the long section. This is not necessary if the area is fairly flat as the long section can be interpolated from the xx1 data if you do not load a long section file. We save the long section file with the same name as the previous two files. The extension of a long section file is .gro. Go to RoadMaker. 
In RoadMaker, select File, Open, browse to the folder you save your files and select one of the files you saved. It does not matter which extension you display because on the next pop-up we will select the specific type we want to open. Because they have the same name, we can open them simultaneously. If they had different names, you would select File Open a second time to select the file with a different name. Navigation on the different views. Go to the cross section, N and P on the keyboard and select Next and Previous at the bottom menus to scroll through the sections. Or roll the wheel of your mouse forward and backward to scroll through the sections. On the long section view, use the zoom button to zoom into a selected start and end change of the road. On the plan view, use the zoom to show the zoom area you want to zoom into. The plot parameters allows you to change the display for each of the views. Turn options on and off until you get the desired results. Make sure to continue watching our clips on cross-section top profile design, cross-section layer design and road vertical alignment design.